This gun is absolutely busted. Now, it was good even before the most recent sandbox. But last night, at about 3 a.m. approximately, I was playing some Rumble, and I came across a player using Lord of Wolves. I was using one of the new shotguns that drops from the raid. Pretty decent roll on it. I felt pretty confident in my loadout. Until... This man absolutely shit all over me. Every time I tried to push him, Lord of Wolves was absolutely shutting me down. So I went and pulled the weapon out of my vault and tried it out for myself. And lo and behold, guys, Lord of Wolves, we're not even going to put it on the nasty scale. When we say a weapon is nasty, it's normally in a positive sense, right? Meaning I'm promoting usage of this weapon. Lord of Wolves, I do not promote this weapon in any kind of way. Matter of fact, I hope Bungie nerfs this weapon as soon as possible because that is how broken this gun is. So first up, let's talk about Sandbox 2.5.01. This is the sandbox that essentially just turned Lord of Wolves into an absolute monster. Lord of Wolves, release the Wolves perk can now be activated on special reload instead of on kill. Now we also received some decrease there in damage, but I'm pretty sure this is only applicable to PVE. So Lord of Wolves essentially got a massive buff because originally, when you read the trait of Release the Wolves, defeating an enemy doubles the number of projectiles per burst for a short period of time. So to actually get the benefit of Release the Wolves, you had to get a kill first. Now you just simply have to hold the reload button, just like you would for Hard Light, or even something like Borealis, and boom, you now have Release the Wolves at all times. So with a simple press of a trigger, you now have the ability to shut down anyone within 20 meters with this weapon, guys. 20 meters! This is supposed to be a shotgun! This range is even further than something like Chaperone. Now granted, maybe Chaperone can beat it with Roadborne. I don't even know what the range is for Chaperone with Roadborne. All I know is that a weapon that requires precision like Chaperone does should not be getting outranged by essentially Pocket Infinity 2.0. Lord of Wolves is like an instant fire pocket infinity from Destiny 1. And for some of my D2 players only that never got to experience pocket infinity, it was a fusion rifle that would essentially upon charging up would immediately blow its load into everything. Lord of Wolves is doing that. And now that you can constantly proc release the wolves by simply holding the reload button, you now have the ability to always win your once. I mean, always. And for the longest time, I would say the thing that was holding Lord of Wolves back was of course ammo. Ammo conservation with Lord of Wolves was a little off, especially in something like PvP, but with two scavenger perks, I am picking up 30 rounds per brick of ammo. Per special brick, boys, I get 30 rounds. 30 rounds! Now, that's the equivalent of six regular Lord of Wolves shots, or the equivalent of three Release the Wolf shots. Three Release the Wolf shots is enough for you to clear out an entire team. Plenty. You just keep picking up more ammo and you just keep going to Pound Town. Now, I'm not trying to promote this weapon. That's not what this video is. It is definitely to get the attention of Bungie to let them know that the most recent sandbox changes to Lord of Wolves, despite it being a good change for maybe something like PvE, it's definitely not a good change here for PvP. This is breaking Crucible. On the level of something like Prometheus Lens when it first launched. And for some of those it says, well, it's a shotgun and you still got to close the gap. At the end of the day, any shotgun with this type of ease of use that can kill people within 20 meters is broken. And we're not even talking about the aspects of shutting down supers. One burst with Release the Wolves can shut down any super in the game. Matter of fact, a Dawnblade standing inside of a Well of Radiance can get put down in two bursts from Lord of Wolves. And for those that are saying this is just for mouse and keyboard players, absolutely not. You get the same level of lethality here with controllers. Controller players, Xbox and PlayStation players, Lord of Wolves is just as lethal on your platform as it is here on PC. So guys, this is absolutely the most broken gun right now. Sometimes there's things that slip through the crack and I completely understand. There's a lot of things that the Sandbox team at Bungie are constantly having to keep tabs on things. For Lord of Wolves, what we should do going forward, I honestly think there should be a reverse to the release of Wolves perk. Make it to where it just procs on kill. And maybe even a step further. Even without release the Wolves here, Lord of Wolves still has an amazing kill range. Better than most shotguns, if not all shotguns outside of Chaperone and a few other precision frame shotties. The main thing is, is its ease of use in combination with its lethality makes this weapon busted. And I've been seeing more and more top tier players picking up Lord of Wolves inside of 
comp inside of Rumble. And like the loadout I've been noticing the most here lately has been Lord of Wolves and Ostringer. And as much as I like seeing diversity there in loadouts, this is not right. This is not balanced in any way or form. And Lord of Wolves Bungie, you guys have got to address this as soon as possible. Extremely busted. It was already really good even last season, but it was one of those things that was still kind of hidden there. But it's about to become rampant. And I'm sure this video is going to make things even worse. Sorry, guys. This is just one of those things that we have to put out in hopes that it gets addressed very soon. This is definitely not one of those things that needs to be addressed in the next season. No, it, it definitely needs a hot fix as soon as possible. Well, fellas and ladies, let me know in the comments below if you got any suggestions on how to fix this weapon. Again, like I said, reversing the sandbox change where we release the wolves has to proc on kill like it was originally. That's a bummer though, because again, you know, PVE, it's gonna suck for you guys. I don't wanna just go in there and just slash the ammo economy though inside of PVP to where players can't get enough ammo for Lord of Wolves for those that are still gonna use it, but something has definitely gotta be done. Fellas and ladies, hey, you guys have an excellent weekend. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.